Hi friends, today we are going to make a bug, uh, a bug collage. Okay, so for that, um, let's see the supplies that we need. We need scissors, glue stick, um, paper. So it can be a white paper or a black paper. Um, I'm using a black paper because on a darker paper, things stand out more, right? Um, I'm going to use the shiny metallic markers. If you have them, you can use that. Uh, or you can use the gel pens if you have that. In case you don't have both of that, you can use uh, crayons or markers, okay? And then we also need a magazine for this. So let's see the how we do this lesson. Let me put the things somewhere so that I have space to work on the thing. So first, what we're going to do is um, let's think of uh, the parts of a of an insect. So insect have, let me, where's my where's board or scrap paper. So insect have, um, <laughs> this is another project I was working on. Let me work over here. So an insect have, um, they have the head. They have a thorax. And they have a abdomen. Okay. So these are the three parts um, they have. And then they do have the legs and we uh, insects usually have how many legs they have six legs so and then the, also an antenna some insects also have uh, wings right so maybe this is the there are wings on either side these are the wings so that those are the parts of a of an insect so let's now try and get some magazine uh, we are going to have all these parts on the uh, for the insect on this paper so it doesn't uh, matter what insect you're making it can be an imaginary insect or it can be an insect that you have seen okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find a very colorful um part the magazine maybe i'll use this part this pa paper so i'm using actually uh, a magazine like from march not a magazine from this month it's better you ask your mom or dad whoever's magazine you're taking whether it's okay to cut it okay so i'm going to uh, cut out a piece for my so this color will look good for the wings what do you think right so i'm going to cut out that i'm going to set it aside first i'm going to start collecting material for my uh, insects parts okay so the this would be a good paper for the wings now let me see another color something that will make a good maybe maybe i'll go for a lighter color yeah this one can be for the abdomen I'm going to cut that and set it aside. Now I need another one for the thorax. Yeah. Maybe I can use this. So I'm just using colorful paper then I look through 
Oh, what is else is remaining? So we have the wings, right? Maybe this this color would be a nice color for the wing. So I'm going to cut that out. So it doesn't. You guys don't have to choose the same colors that I chose. Use your imagination. Um, think of what colors would look good for that particular body part of the insect. Okay, I'm going to leave my magazine on the side because uh, I'll take it if I need it. So suppose you can't find a magazine. Um, you can even use a newspaper or what you can do is you can... Um, you can uh, use some colored paper It'll make some colored paper like I showed you guys last time and then when it dry you can cut it out and then make the insect okay so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the abdomen of the insect or should I start from the head so the which one was the head this was for the body Let me use this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the paper in half like that and then I'm going to draw the head. So I'm going to draw it um, with the marker so you guys can see okay. So this is the fold and this side open so when I cut this out I'll have um, one piece of paper okay not a half of a head one whole four whole head so open it i have the head ready now i'm going to leave this aside now i'm going to make the thorax thorax is the next part of the that comes after the head so what color would i thinking of using okay I'm going to fold this whatever paper you're using you need to fold we are just um, cutting one half maybe this way I'm going to draw the thorax so thorax is going to be a little bit this it's going to be the same shape just like the head that we did but it's going to be bigger so, uh, so what I'm going to do is again this is the fold and this side opens so from the fold I'm going to make a line like that and then come down so it's like um, uh, upside down L and I'm going to cut it out so I have the I think my paper, the background paper is small. Maybe I'll use a bigger paper. Okay. So see. So next, let me cut out the uh, thorax. So I'm using this paper for the thorax. And then fold and from the fold again i'm going to make the shape okay i don't know whether you guys can see maybe i'll draw with the silver marker so you guys can see okay so this shape is going to be uh, i'm starting the line from the opening side here like that and then going like this making it pointy can you see the shape that i made here I hope you can see and then I'm going to cut this so do you have to make the same bug that I'm making no what you can do is um, you can uh, google a picture of an insect or any bug and then uh, you can cut out each part where you want and then you can see so I have now the head thorax and the abdomen so if this is small also it works so you just if uh, luckily both my pieces are same size 
it is okay if one piece is small little bit smaller than the other piece so see this piece is smaller than this piece it will uh, glue it together and it'll look fine okay so now i need to make some uh wings so for that i'm going to glue this down and then i'm going to try and use yeah so this uh you are just going to uh, make a wing here okay because it's a folded paper when you cut it you will get two wings it's a v Because we folded it and we cut it we have two wings the same size so I'm going to put the wings under here okay so it is already looking like an insect right so I'm going to maybe I need two eyes maybe I'll try and see if I maybe I'll use this this color uh, to make the eyes so I'm going to fold this and then cut out two circles out of it, okay? It's almost lunchtime and I'm super hungry. My tummy is growling. Hope you guys <laughs> had lunch. Yeah, that's the eyes, okay? So now let's uh, start gluing this down, okay? So I'm going to, so I have laid out my parts and I see that it's all looking good together. I'm happy with how it looks. So I'm going to start with the head. Usually I ask you guys to put the glue on the uh, bigger paper, but I'm going to put the glue on the smaller paper this time. Here. I'm going to lift this put some glue see that you don't get glue on your fingers we don't want sticky fingers so any anything that you make with these parts like the head thorax abdomen the wings if you you can make come up with an insect okay this insect i don't know whether it's an insect like this i just uh, made these parts and I'm going to put it together it's so maybe it's an alien insect I don't know okay. I'm going to glue this See that uh, all the parts touch each other okay we don't want we don't want the things like when you glue it like the head separate and the uh, thorax is sticking out or something like that we don't want that i think it looks like an insect right guys once we draw the uh oh i put the glue on the wrong side once we put the legs, this will look like an insect. So right now we have the uh, parts that needs to be done with the uh, paper already done. Now you can go ahead, maybe add more details to this thing. Okay. Um, um, if you have a white paper, you can outline with uh, black because it is not white. I'm going to outline my bug with silver. Um, does it? If you have gel pens, you can use any of these gel pens. Okay. 
my gel pens as i said last week are really old that is from when my daughter was your age now she is 18 so it's like eight years old right so that's really old <laughs> Okay, maybe you can make on the wings if you have seen closely. I don't know whether you guys can see. Maybe I'll make those lines with black so you guys can see. Uh, usually on the wings of insects, you can see these lines. The, the wings would be transparent for some, like a dragonfly and all those things. You can see some lines going through that. So I'm just adding those lines. Hope you guys had some fun with the letters last last week i made those letters right the letters initials hope you guys had fun with those so i'm going to add um the legs right now so the legs should be starting from the body okay not from the um so you can start from the, not from the head this is the head this is the thorax and this is the abdomen so not from the head from the body because you guys know that we all have legs and does it start from our head no it is from the body right so so I'm making lines so it's like three segments the last legs should it be longer or the same length it's up to you okay should we ha add antennas For the bugs, I mean, it will look interesting with the antenna, right? So, if you want, maybe you can go around this with another metallic color. So as I said, you can do this with the crayon also. If you don't have the markers, if it's on a white paper, uh, you can do it with crayons or any color marker. So you can have brown legs or red legs or because it's a colored paper, I'm using uh, metallic colors. So I think I'm done. If you want to add more details to your, like um, make it look furry, maybe if you want add some dots to here, you can go ahead do that, things like that. So um, make it more interesting, go ahead do that. Okay, uh, so guys, I don't know whether you can see the whole thing. Maybe if I put it sideways, you can see the whole um insect at the time right hope you guys had fun making the bug magazine collage with me uh till we meet next time bye bye